Prater Jr. of Crane Hill passed away yesterday Hansville Nurse, at Hansville Nursing Home at the age of 83. Funeral arrangements will be announced later by Moss Service Funeral Home. Amy Michelle Foran of Holly Pond passed away Monday at her residence at the age of 39. Funeral services will be held tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Heritage Funeral Home Chapel in Panama City Beach, Florida. Interment will be in Lynn Haven Cemetery in Lynn Haven, Florida. Visitation will be in Panama City at the funeral home today, 6 to 8 p.m. Moss Service is assisting with those arrangements. Eileen Katrina Addison passed away Wednesday at Cullman Regional Medical Center at the age of 77. Funeral services will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. at the Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel, interment in the Persimmon Grove Cemetery. Funeral services for Daniel Scott Lovelace, age 26 of Hansville, will be held tomorrow at 2 p.m. at Hansville Funeral Home Chapel, interment in Hopewell Cemetery. The family will receive friends from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hansville Funeral Home is in charge. Mr. Lovelace passed away on Wednesday. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Bank presents Today on 2. We are broadcasting live at channel2coleman.com and of course we archive the programs on the same website. And speaking of Premier Bank, my co-pilot today, Jacob Mullins. Good to have you back on the program. Thank you, sir. Glad to be back. Jacob was with us, what, a month ago, six weeks ago? About that. Something like that. We had, had a, a good fun time. time. I beg to come yeah, back. that's right. Okay, let's start with the weather forecast for today. Our weather is brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. We start with the uh, current conditions, 55 degrees right now in Coleman, winds out of the east southeast at three miles an hour, relative humidity 89%, no rain in the past 24 hours, the barometer is falling slowly at 30.21. And there's the satellite picture, you can see the huge cold front which is working its way south through the country right now, it looks like to the north of us. Kentucky and Tennessee are probably seeing some colder temperatures. Right now, our part of the country doesn't look too bad. All the rain is on the way. Here's our forecast. Cloudy and breezy today, 100% chance of rain, a high of 63. For tonight, more of the same, 100% chance of rain, low around 45. For tomorrow, we'll start to see a change in the weather. 50% chance of rain in the morning, a high of just 52. The temperature by Sunday morning when you're headed for church should be around 26 degrees. Ooh. Yeah, the high on Sunday, windy with a high of 53. The low come Monday morning will be around 25. But Jacob, look at this. Monday, 70% chance of snow and sleet Monday oh. night. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit different. Low around 32. Tuesday, 70% chance of freezing rain and sleet. High of 44. Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, chance of rain and snow. High of 43. Do you know of anybody who has been out west, like to Colorado, recently? I know of a couple. That, that maybe brought this weather back with them? Uh, no. Whenever I got back, it was 70 degrees, so I didn't bring anything back. <laughs> Jacob and his dad, Jay, went on an elk hunt mm -hmm. to where, uh, Colorado, right? Craig, Colorado. Okay. And uh, what part of the state is that? That is in the, let me think a second, northwest part northwest of the state. Northwest part of the state. It's where the mountains are. Uh-huh. Tell us a little bit about it because I, I think it was kind of an interesting adventure the way you guys did it. It was fun. Flew into this tiny little airport, drove out to the ranch. And it was a it was a ranch. Uh -huh. This is what these people do. They farm. At one time, there was five thousand sheep on this oh, ranch. Wow! 
and that's that's kind of neat to see when you see we drive down this road and five thousand sheep run everywhere. Oh wow! Uh, we drove up to the camp house and it was a little bunk house. I mean, it had bunk beds and it was just neat. Uh huh. We uh, they'd wake us up at three thirty every day. Three thirty. Three thirty. We would leave at four thirty, and then they would take you. And this one morning, this guy said, "What you do is you walk up this little hill and just sit on top of it." Well, his idea little and my idea little are two different things. I get to the bottom of this hill, and it's in the dark, and I look straight up and keep looking up. And I decided, well, I guess I should start climbing. About an hour later, I was to the top of it. Just a little hill. Just a little hill. <laughs> so don't ever just pay attention to those guys out west when they say, go up this little hill. It's just right over it. So you sort of have to be in shape to do this. Uh, you need to be in shape. I can tell you I needed to be in better shape. <laughs> So, okay, you, you go up to the top of this little hill. Mm -hmm. and you, When you get to the top of this little hill, then it's just beautiful. You can see, uh, you can probably see six miles in every way. Wow. I mean, it was incredible. Uh -huh. And you look down in this little valley, and you're looking for the elk to move through this little draw into this valley. The bad thing was, out there, it was 55 degrees when I was out there. You want there to be snow on the ground, and you want it to be about 10. 55 was too warm. The elk stay high. It, they need the snow oh, to push them down. Okay. Because you've got to think, an elk has a coat to withstand the winter, yeah. and it's already yeah. developing that coat. At 55, it's about like 100 to uh -huh. us. So they're going to stay as high as they can in the shade and not move. Okay. So it was not but, a good elk. But winter. this isn't like deer hunting around here where you get up in a tree stand. No. No. Now, they had blinds set up if you wanted to sit in them. Uh -huh. I get a little fidgety, so I want to move. Okay. But you don't move very far out there because the air is so thin, you can't catch your breath. Oh, really? Oh, it's horrible. Okay. Then did you uh, take a pack with food, supplies, that kind of thing? You're out there for the day? They were nice enough to fix us a pack. They would fix you a lunch. Uh -huh. They put me, they put two sandwiches. Most people, they put one, but that's <laughs> beside the point. You take plenty of bottles of water because you, you have to drink water out there. Yeah. You go from 500 elevation to 6,000. It's a little bit of a difference. Uh -huh. And I think that day that I went up the little hill, I went from six to eight, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, they always talk about uh, uh, athletes when they're playing in Denver, mm -hmm. the Mile High City, right. how difficult it is to breathe, and I dare say you were higher than that. Oh, yeah. So is it? Yes. More, it is yes. more Listen difficult to what they to say, it is. You're huffing and puffing where you normally wouldn't be around Walking here. Walking up a flight of stairs here, you don't ever notice it. There, you'd be out of breath by the time you got to the top. Wow. I mean, wow. it's amazing. Uh huh. And how many days were you there? We were there about a week. Okay. But that includes travel time, so yeah. okay. a day travel each way. And did you see any elk? Well, I saw one one spike, which is a which is a bull that has just two. Just a young one. Right. Uh huh. And then uh, the next I think the next to last day we went to another piece of property and on another person's property I saw about four hundred. Oh, on the other person's property. Yeah. So it really <laughs> did help us out. Wow. But anyway, it was a good time. Fun trip. I would go back today if I could. Wow, that's very interesting. You know, I, I don't think I've ever talked to anybody who's been on an elk hunt like you guys have. So it was fun. it's interesting, it was interesting fun. for me. I'd give anything just to look at the scenery. That's that's and, and God's creation. Huh? You can walk up to the top, and it just it just puts everything in perspective. You look around, and then everything's so clear. You don't yeah. see houses. You don't see buildings. No power lines. And wow. the stars at night are the most incredible oh, thing. Oh, yeah, that would be. Well, let's see. We need to get about our business for today. I think we have a Facebook friend of the day to talk about. Lori Walker is our friend for today. And Lori likes Oak Mountain and A&E TV. And she's the winner of our large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue in Berlin. And Lori, you can come by our studio anytime during morning hours on weekdays, and we'll get you fixed up with a certificate to take to Mad Dog Mike's. We have our part of our political panel here today. Tom Drake and Tom Burleson will be joining us in just a little bit. Right now, we'll continue with our show and look at our merchant ads right after this. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers.
We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Continue with more of today on 2. Let's see what we have for prizes to give away. We have the very popular KSW colored salt, which is available at Rumors Deli and Gelato Joe's. And we have the large take and bake pizza from Papa Murphy's. Those are the prizes for today. We're going to ask you a question about one of our ads. So let's start showing our ads right now. And we start with Highway 278 Pickers Antique Mall and Market. They say, excuse our growing pains. We are still open, but we have 200 new booths coming. And they're located on Highway 278 West. Busy Bee Cafe, home of the original breaded burger. Coleman's one and only place for German meals. Dinner hours, Friday and Saturday, 2 through 9. Ed White Jewelers, a Christmas tradition for 51 years. Experience the holidays with a gift they'll remember and cherish on Highway 31 across from Sportsman Lake Park. Earl's Body Shop, voted best towing service. David, Diane, and employees, thank you for this honor. Large and small towing available, local or long distance. Highway 31 North Coleman. And, of course, Be Fit is the new fitness facility in downtown Coleman. You pay just $50 a month. No long-term contract. Your membership includes a certified personal trainer. Be Fit. Yates Chance Christian Bookstore. Counting down the days till Christmas. Store-wide selection of holiday gifts for every budget. Count on Yates Chance for the holidays and keep Christ in Christmas. Amen. Tires for less, more than just tires. They do oil changes, minor engine repair, replace shocks and brakes. Come and see Greg and the guys. Tires for less, Highway 31 North. Mr. Hicks Menswear, now offering suits made to your measurements. They have business, men's, regular sizes, and big and tall sizes. The new LaFon line is in at Doug Dogga Jewelers. That's why you shop at Doug Dogga Jewelers. LaFon Flawless Beauty. Visit their web address, dogatjewelers.com. Dairy Queens, five buck lunch every day, 11 to four. Upgrade your Sunday to a small blizzard for just a dollar. It's a good deal. Yes, it is, and it includes dessert. Oh. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, now offering the Family Barbecue Pack. The family package includes a pound of meat, two sides, four buns, and sauce. Mad Dog Mike's Barbecue in the Berlin Quick Stop. Cotton State Barns of Coleman. They have carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings. No credit check. You're approved. Located 278 West, just past I-65. There we go with some of our merchant ads. Question for today, Dr. Howard Rogers is a counselor, but what is the name of the business? Oh, I know this. You know this one? I know this okay. one. Okay. Dr. Howard Rogers is the counselor. What is the name of the business that advertises with us? 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. And let's see our, our prizes for today. The large take and bake pizza from Papa Murphy's and the KSW colored salt. Go ahead and call in now while we watch Money Matters brought to you by Premier Bank. Good morning. I'm Jordan Carter with Premier Bank. Today I want to tell you about how internet banking can be beneficial to a small business. Internet banking can help a small business reconcile bank statements, make transfers, along with various other functions. I hope that this will make running your business a little easier. Thank you. We don't have any callers. Okay, you know the answer. Dr. Howard Rogers. Let me tell you. Yes. Baldwin Counseling. Baldwin Counseling Center. Okay, we'll keep the prizes for today. All right, I like Let's that. Let's look at the rest of our merchant ads right now. 
Starting with the UPS store, it has all your Christmas shipping days open Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 6, Saturday 8 to 2. Closed Sunday, they're in the South Coleman Shopping Center. Auto Tech Repair and Service, Electronic Diagnostic, Major Engine Repairs, Transmission Repair, Brake Repair, Foreign and Domestic Auto Repair, 1945 County Road, 1354 Vine Month. Mullins Body Shop, over 50 years they've been doing auto body repair and towing. You can still count on them each and every day. That's Mullins Body Shop. Amerigas is now Coast Gas. Different name, same personnel. 24-hour on-call service, 24-7 answering service. Competitive pricing, full service inside and out. Brown and Company uh, uh, Beverages is your specialty wine and beer store. They have the taste of fall seasonal beers in stock. Fall and winter flavors available at Brown and Company Beverages. Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. Please call Holly Mullins today to book 256-620-JOLLY. And if you can't call today, call tomorrow. Call right? anytime. Uh, anytime. All right. Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. Browsers always welcome. Books always on sale each and every day at Deb's Bookstore. Not Free Insurance Agency, providing insurance coverage for over three generations. One of the top ten growth agencies in the state of Alabama for auto owners. Grand Point Pharmacy. Think outside the box for the season. They have a gift shop at Grand Point Pharmacy, which features ginger snap jewelry, distinctive coffee flavors, case knives that are engraved. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center, full fitness center, complete with weights, cardio, and professional training. Indoor rubberized walking track, a variety of aerobic and cycling classes. And there's the Baldwin Counseling Center. Dr. Howard Rogers is the man to talk to. He says, have problem, need to talk, want some privacy. Help is a phone call away, 256-737-3087. Hanceful Guns and Ammo, locked and loaded. Paul targets high prices. Cash purchase guns, 15% above wholesale. There we go with our merchant ads for today. Now it's time to check our birthdays, starting with people celebrating today, the 22nd day of November. Anita Edmondson and Mike Wallace have birthdays today. And Pam Blair has a birthday on Saturday. Our weekly winner receives the ice cream cake, courtesy of Dairy Queen. And let's see who our winner is right. for this week. It is Kenny Culpepper. Kenny's birthday was earlier this week, Coleman City Police Chief. We will continue with a look at our merchant, our, our community billboards and the weather right after this. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. Different types of wear a day coat. Pants with stripes and cut away coat perfect fit. That's why I shop at Big Dog at Jewelry. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. And our community billboards today brought to you by Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Coleman Jefferson Gas.
Holly Pond Homemakers Club Bake Sale will be coming up tomorrow. Have your baked goods there by 7.30. This will be in the Holly Pond Town Hall. Benefits go to the upkeep of the cemetery. Find my band boosters, Holiday Arts and Craft Bazaar. Bazaar is tomorrow at the Civic Center from 9 to 5. Everyone is invited to come and shop. And the Christmas Festival and Market will be held at St. John's Evangelical Church on December the 14th. This will be from 1 until 6 o'clock. Be ready to play, eat, shop, and celebrate. Our community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi Mountain Dew and Coleman Jefferson Gas. The weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Our weather forecast for today, 100% chance of rain, a high of 63. Windy tonight, more rain expected, low around 45. Cold front moving through the area starting tomorrow, 50% chance of rain in the morning with a high of 52. This is Corporate Headquarters. As you can see, I have a unique business. How do I compete with the big boys? Got this fancy business address. A marketing department. A distribution center. And a great team. Great team. Even a cafeteria. That's mine. From packing and shipping to printing and mailbox services, come into the UPS store for everything a small business needs. I love logistics. At Premier Bank, we're a bit old-fashioned. We actually answer the telephone when you call. However, old-fashioned doesn't mean we aren't up to date. With the latest technology, Premier Bank meets the various needs of our customers. Mobile smartphone banking, internet banking, ATMs, convenient offices. At Premier Bank, we have the right products right now with good old-fashioned customer service. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Welcome back to Today on Two. You will recognize our panel on the far right, Mr. Speaker Tom Drake, Judge Tom Burleson, joining Jacob and I. Normally we stay away from events or news stories that is all over television and everywhere else, but I do want to talk about one today. This is the 50th anniversary of the John Kennedy assassination, and I think almost all of us that were aware at that time, remember what we were doing when we heard about the assassination. Let me start with Tom Drake. Tom, what were you well, doing? Well, I don't, you I don't have that? any idea what I was doing that day, but I know this, that, that it, really, uh, it just hit this nation and everybody was, uh, you know, feeling bad and a lot of tears shed at that time and it just, it, it was a horrible thing and I, I was, close friends to his brother Teddy uh, and uh, uh, to a friend of mine down Mobile uh, was his roommate in college you know when he's going to college at uh, I believe it's Harvard or Princeton or somewhere up there mm -hmm. they were roommates and we became I became good friends to him through him and we corresponded back and forth during the entire his entire life in your acquaintance with Teddy Kennedy, did he ever talk about the assassination? I you? never did get in him to t talk about it at all. I never did. Hmm. And I didn't, you know, push him out. Yeah. But he uh, he never did relate to that. And I remember when we had the Democratic Convention uh, out in California, uh, uh, when Mondale was running, uh, we went out there, and uh, I was, of course, Speaker of the House at the time, and I was on the, uh, one of his committee people, and my wife was too. And so anyhow, uh, I was about 53 from Alabama, you know, and and I remember he, I don't, I never have figured why he did this. I think he just needed somebody to talk to, 
they said, uh, you know, they gave him word that the Alabama delegation was out there. He said, send in Tom Drake and his uh, buddy, Jimmy Walter. So we went in there and stayed an hour and talked, and the rest of us couldn't figure what we was talking about. We just, you know, just talking yeah. about uh, politics and what it looked like and so forth. Tom Burleson, do you remember where you were when you heard about the assassination? Yeah, I was in uh, school at Weldy. I was principal out there at Weldy and uh, heard it. And uh, of course, he caught everybody by surprise, you know. Uh, kids, the children were, they were really grieving about it, you know. And uh, that was mostly what I remember about but it. But it was such a surprising thing because something like that had never happened, I don't think, in any of our lifetimes. No. Well, uh, I never <coughs> have figured out myself how and why that they let them get in that open car, you know, wide open. Right, yeah. And uh, there, there had been some talk about uh, the Kennedys out there in, the, in Texas. I went out there and came in. Uh, Senator Folsom went out there and campaigned out there right after that, uh, you know, and uh, for Governor Wallace for president. And uh, it's very obvious that you got some people out there that uh, on the far right, <laughs> they didn't have much use for. Yeah, they talk about the fact that Jack Kennedy was not a popular person in the state of Texas. That's right. And they were surprised that, like you say, that he would have yeah. campaigned in that area. Yeah, and it, it just. I couldn't imagine him not being in a car that was uh, bulletproof. You know, there's still people that question who killed him. I saw the other day where, on TV where they were talking about uh, some some people thought that the vice president at that time may, might have been involved in it. And, of course, I don't know if they ever pinpointed, yeah, they got Oswald. I think it's it, George and I were talking about before the show this morning, 50 years ago, and there's still doubt as to exactly what happened. Yeah, they they they, they still didn't, doubt. They can't pinpoint it. Uh, yeah, exactly uh, what happened. Like, like he said, there was a lot of talk about his uh, Johnson about Johnson. I mean, right, it, it, and it, you it, also hear a lot of talk about the mob oh, being yeah. involved with the assassination. Yeah, that's right too. Yeah. So they he's always in the country. Regardless of who's president, there's probably always a mob that would like to uh, annihilate whoever's president if the right time and place existed, you know. But uh, I, I wouldn't want to be. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be president. <laughs> no. Well, supposedly this fellow that killed him, uh, uh, he, I think he visited Russia during the. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, right. Uh, yeah. his life and so forth and in Mexico and various other places he he'd been around a lot to various places you know you know this I saw on TV this week it, that this guy Oswald when he was growing up you may have saw that too where he'd have a air rifle and he'd shoot people and uh, he'd done that from a child all the way up well then you know the thing that compounds the mystery is the fact that Oswald was assassinated a couple of days later. Yeah, yeah that was certainly he. <laughs> and and that, that just expanded the mystery of the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, that really, uh, they, a lot of people felt like if, they had a, if that hadn't happened, well, they should have protected him better. I mean, yeah. you know, people were definitely wanting to kill him. Looked like he a lot of people wanted to kill him. Uh -huh. It wasn't just that fellow. Yeah, no. A lot of people wanted to kill him because he killed the president. Right. But uh, he, he uh, if they had protected him and they might have got some information out of them been beneficial to let us know what they had. a lot of them in Mississippi, I think Mississippi around down in that area was they was afraid of getting killed down in that area. Yeah, yeah. And probably some in Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> well, Alabama, no yeah. question about it, yeah. Well, I don't think that we will ever really find out no. exactly what happened. Uh, you know, they say that the Warren Commission the records were sealed for 75 years, which means we've got another 25 years to go. I dare say in 25 years, they still won't know any more than what we know today. No, but it's really a, really a sad thing that he 
he got assassinated, it'd been interesting to see what how he would have done all the way through the term, you know. Yeah, because he was just beginning to run for a second term, wasn't he? And right. no doubt about it, he was popular with the people. Yeah. He was yeah. popular with the people. Would have been interesting. Well, that's our program for today. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Jacob. Appreciate you being back here today. Yes, sir. Thank you for watching today on two. All right. In the nation, we worry about fire-breathing monsters. And we worry about spinach. At Nationwide Insurance, we take care of the big things like protecting you, so you only have to worry about the little stuff. We put members first, because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation that doesn't sweat it. Nationwide is on your side. Now what is the worst? Last minute Christmas shopping. Right. This year... We start right after Halloween. We still have months. We are in good shape. Lots of time. Lots of time. Is that a Christmas tree? I think so. In a rush? <coughs> Come to the UPS store and we'll pack and ship all your gifts. I love logistics! <laughs> Why I shop at Doug Doggett Jewelers.